Good morning, YouTubers. Uh, out here at the farm today, gonna try uh, cutting up some more two by fours. I think I'm about maybe 10 short of what I need to finish the roof for the uh, chicken uh, hen house. Um, and then I still need some more two by fours for the side so that I can have stuff to nail down the uh, hardwire clo hardware cloth too. So uh, I'm out here at the sawmill. Here's some of the lumber that I've already cut. This is all seasoned and ready to go. There's hickory up underneath in there. Um, I got some more wood over there, uh, stacked over there. It's kind of hard to see. But uh, here's my cutoff pile right here. And I'll, I'll use some of this, whether for its campfires or for uh, siding, like this right here. This would be good for siding on the uh, chicken coop. So I will use some of this. I've still got some of these logs. You can see I've got three, three logs off of here. Uh, since I started recutting once we got to winter, still got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to go uh, that are lined up here. So I want to get these cut. But anyway, sawmill started, two poles. Hasn't been uh, below freezing here, but last night got down around 40 degrees and uh, haven't been, hadn't run the sawmill for about a week and a half now. And it came out here, second pull, it started right up. So woodland mills, um, the Kohler engines, uh, that's what they use. I highly recommend them. Woodland mills, you can't go wrong. This is a great sawmill. I did buy one extra bed section here so I can do up to like, I think 17 foot or maybe just a little beyond 17 foot logs. Uh, it's 16 inches down on this end. It's 18 inches down on that end. I'm gonna start cutting this up so I can make some two by fours. I'll get some more wood out of this one that I got laying down here on the ground too from the last log I loaded up, but you can see way over there. I got plenty of logs lined up in there. I got more logs on the other side of those. I got more logs over there and I got more logs over there. So I have got just a ton of cutting to do and I need to get busy. So here I am. I'm going to start working on this. I'll let you watch. Set you right there. I think it's like 45 degrees out right now. But once you start working, t-shirt's fine. Oh, I'm only wearing the long pants because of ticks. That's all. I'll cut on here until I get down to a nice cant. Then I'll flip it over one more time, one more time, till I get to this part right here on top. And I'll square that off too. So that's where I'm at right now. Okay, so I wanted to show you what I'm doing here real quick. All right, I've got this cant and I've been slicing off two inch thick pieces. Uh, so I got two already over here. Those are two inch thick. I'm gonna get I think four more out of here, four more two inch thick pieces. Out of each one of these, I should be able to get three four inch chunks out of here. So I'll end up with three per. So if I'm getting four, five, six times three, six times three, 18 two by fours, about almost 17 feet long. I didn't measure the length of the log. Let's try it real quick. Let's see what we got. Uh, 14 foot 6 inches let's just say that 14 feet 6 inches so I mean you, you, you do the math uh, go to Home Depot see how much it would cost you to get 18 actual 2 by 4s not 1 and 3 quarter by blah 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 
I cut my lumber to dimension. So two by four is a two by four. 18 two by fours. That's a pretty good deal. Especially at today's lumber prices. I'm telling you, go get yourself a lumber a sawmill. I highly recommend Woodland Mills. Their customer service is so good. You don't even have to talk to them and they'll take care of you. That's how good they are. You don't find that often. Okay, so hopefully this shows you in a little bit more detail. Right now I've got these all slabbed out into two inch slabs. I stood them up vertically. I've got the smaller dogs on, or, or the smaller backstops on. One there, one down there. Uh, and those are less than four inches above the, the bed of the sawmill. So I should be able to get three cuts out of here, giving me 18, 18 two by fours. Obviously this one, on, on the bottom here, those will be a little bit rounded in that. This is for a chicken coop. It'll be fine for a chicken coop. So uh, you can see how I've got them all lined up on here. Hopefully you can see that. Not sure how much detail this shows. I am shooting in 4K though. So uh, anyway, I'm gonna fire up the mill. I shut it down while I was stacking these up in that. These are heavy. They're, you know, it's wet wood. It's been raining for about four days now. So today's the, five days i guess the today's the second day that we haven't had rain so and we're only halfway through the day so i'm gonna cut these up i think i'm gonna load the next log on and go ahead and get that one cut up too just to, to get this done i mean i can't build until i have the lumber so uh here we go okay so 18 two by fours got some still over there those are actually uh four and a half inches thick uh vertical wise there so i'm gonna just leave them like that they're gonna be for roof rafters anyway it'll just give them a little bit more strength it's just for a hen house a, li a little chicken coop that i'm building i'm stacking the rest up over here on this trailer i'll bring you over this way and you can see it like i said it rained out here for about four four or five days so it's a little muddy out here right now came through with the jeep and and uh but i'm stacking right over here on this trailer over here and uh here's more logs here more logs there you can't see them but there's logs right there too great big ones too uh and then i've got some over here also kind of buried over here and i need to get these all cut up before we really get into the heat of the summer uh, these two that are painted black on the ends those are white oak so I should get some really nice stuff out of there. The rest are uh, yellow pine. And uh, need to get this all cut up because this is where I want my pole barn. And my wife said that uh, we need to get that pole barn built uh, this summer. So I got a lot of work ahead of me. So anyway, we'll see what happens.